Rakathe Ahawa, Rakathe Ahawa Shai, Rakathe Ahawa, Rakathe Ahawa Shai, Rakathe Ahawa, Rakathe Ahawa Shai. Blessed be the true, holy, powerful, and mighty name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. And blessed be the true, holy, powerful, and mighty name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, our Lord and our Savior. And the elders of Israel, being the apostles, and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Shalom, Wahab, Labach, Yahshua, Shirala, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Come back at you again with a lesson, Baharach, Acharash, Ahmaf, and the Holy Spirit of Truth. And the title of this video is going to be something along the lines of God's favorites. Okay? God's favorites. And that's just using that word for the title. Alright? Really, uh, the true name, like I already said, the true name of the Heavenly Father, whom the worldly calls God, is Yahweh. Okay? The Most High Power, the Omnipotent One. Okay? The power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay? And his true name is, uh, his son, the true name of his son is Yahweh Shai. All right, whom the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior, the Savior of the nation of Israel, starting with, starting with the elect. I'm looking at this car right now. I'm in traffic, in case you ain't realize. I'm looking at this Jeep and uh, where they had that tire on the back. It has a compass, and in the middle of it, it says, life is good. Life is good. So just pointing something that I see, pointing out something that I see while I'm on this road, you know, the true compass the true guide, the true uh, map, all right, is uh, the Holy Spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, and that's, and is guiding us through this life, is guiding us to the, through this temporary life in the book of Hebrews, it says, here we have no continuing city, but we seek one to come, okay, it says that they confess that they were, they said that they confess plainly that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth, and I'm quoting from the book of Hebrews, the 11th chapter, we call that chapter the hall of faith and in that chapter you see some of God's favorites we see some of the most high's favorites okay Abraham is mentioned all right um, Moses is mentioned okay uh, Noah mentioned in that chapter all right and what do all of them have in common the Lord yeah they were the Lord's favorite and they all had to be tried they all had to go through trials. They, ha they all had to go through tribulations. In the book of Sirach, I believe it's the sixth chapter, it says, if thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first. So God's favorites or God's friends need to be proven. As it says in the book of Sirach, the second chapter, as gold is tried in the fire, so is acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. So we must go through that furnace, okay? To be the most highest favorite, one of the most highest favorite, doesn't mean you're going to have this easy ass life, okay? Really, it means the opposite. It means that you're going to catch hell, right? Like Job, I really hate doing in transits and I'm, I'm realizing how much I hate it right now because I, I, I done had about eight precepts that I wanted to bring out. Let's just start off with... Let's go in the book of 2nd Ezra. Again, bear with me. We, I'm not going to do the whole video uh, in transit. I'm about to get off the highway soon. And uh, shortly after that, I'll reach my destination. This is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 5. And I'll start at verse 23. It says, It said, O Lord, that bearish rule of every wood of the earth, and of all of the trees thereof, thou hast chosen thee one only vine. So out of all the trees, the Lord has a favorite. Right? Let's continue on. Verse 24 says, And of all lands of the whole world, thou hast chosen thee one pit. So of all the land on the earth, the heavenly father, Yahweh, he has a favorite place. He has a favorite land. Okay? A chosen city being the land of Israel. God has favorites. Whom the world calls God. The Most High. Yahweh is his true name. Yahweh. He is. He exists. He to be. The existing one. The creator of everything that you see and that you don't see. He has favorites. 
Out of all the trees he has a favor, out of all the lands he has a favor. This is what we're reading. Right? Verse 25 it says, And of all the depths of the sea has filled thee, Salakia, has filled thee one river, and of all the flowers thereof, one lily. Okay? So the Lord, when he was creating everything, he had his favorites. All right? And of all the depths, Salakia, yep. And of all the depths of the sea that has filled thee one river. Salakia, I read that in or, uh, out of order. This is 2nd Ezra 5 and 24. And of all the lands of the whole world, thou hast chosen thee one pit. And of all the flowers thereof, one lily. And of all the depths of the sea, thou hast filled thee one river. And of all builded cities, thou hast hollowed Zion unto thyself. All right, so the Lord is going through his favorites. Verse 26, and of all the fowls that are created, thou hast named thee one dove. Of, of all the birds, of all the, all the fowls, the Lord, the Lord's favorite is the dove. And of all the cattle that are Thou hast provided thee one sheep. And among all the multitudes of the people, thou hast gotten thee one people. Of all the nations, the Lord has his favorite. The Lord has his chosen, his elect. The chosen, the elect nation, his favorite nation is the Israelites. And unto his and unto this people whom thou lovest, thou gavest. A law that is approved of all. So when we go into John 3 16, where it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth on him shall not perish, but shall have everlasting life. That's talking about the nation of Israel. That world is the nation of Israel, the people that the Lord loves. He never said he loved anybody else throughout the whole Bible. In fact, he actually says he hates the Edomites. Jacob have I loved, Esau have I hated. Jacob was chosen. Jacob was the favorite. Jacob is God's favorite. That's why the blessing, okay, that's why the covenant went from Abraham down to Isaac, down to Jacob. Okay? Out of all the people of the earth, the Lord has chosen the one people, and that one people he gave his law to. Who did he give his law to? The nation of Israel. Let's go from there to the book of Deuteronomy 7 and verse 6. It says, For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy power. The Lord thy power have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Special. The nation of Israel is special. Above everybody else in the eyes of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai, making us his favorite. So called blacks, so called Hispanics, and Native Americans, the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and the ones of us that's been scattered abroad, we are the favorite nation. We are really the only nation that the Lord cares about. Okay? That's hard for the average person to hear. But we reading right out the Bible. The Lord has his favorites. There's a scripture in um when I pull up on the Lord's will, I'm gonna find it. Some have he hollowed. Let me see if I can. It's in uh this is uh Sirach chapter 33 and verse 7. Why do if one day excel another? When as all the light of every day in the year is of the sun, by the knowledge of the Lord they are distinguished and he altered seasons and feasts. Some of them have he made high days and hallowed them and some of them have he made ordinary days. And all men are from the ground and Adam was created of the earth. And much knowledge the Lord have divided them and made their ways diverse. We all come from Adam. This is true. But there's a chosen out of Adam. A chosen lineage. 
out of Noah, which goes down to Shem, all the way down to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right, I was gonna name, I was gonna name some of them, but I didn't wanna, you know, go out of order. All right, our facts add. Okay, so on and so forth. Okay, it says, Sirach 33 in verse 9, some of them, uh, no, verse 11, and much knowledge the Lord have divided them and made their ways diverse. The Lord divided the people of this earth. Deuteronomy 32 and 8, the Lord, it was never meant for all of us to be mingled as we are here in America. There's a melting pot, and that's why there's so much goddamn confusion in this place, man. I hate it here. I want to go home. That's a um, Karate Kid quote, the, not the old one, but Mr. Miyagi, the new one with Jackie Chan and uh, Will Smith's son. His mama, Taraji P, moved him out to China. And he was crying. I, I hate it here. I want to go home. And that's how we feel, man. Truly, truly fucking hate this place. Going back into that scripture that I quoted in the beginning, Hebrews. Here we have no continuing city, but we seek one to come. We don't got shit here, man. And you'll never have shit here. Okay? We need this place to go down. In the new heaven and the new earth to be established upon this planet in order for us to really enjoy our time here on the earth. The planet needs new rulership. Okay? It says... Some of them have he blessed, right? Some of the people have he blessed and exalted. And some of them he sanctified and set near to himself. Who is that? The nation of Israel. That's who he exalted. We just read it in Deuteronomy 76. Thou art a holy people, separate, right? Above all people upon the face of the earth, exalted, right? And some of them have he sanctified. That's holy. Separated. Right? And set near himself. But some of them hath he cursed and brought low and turned out of their places. And he saw Edom, he's a cursed people. Right? And that's why they look the way they look. That's why the Edomites look the way. That's why the Edomites look like uh, 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 look the way they look. Leprous, clean leprous. Lacking melanin and pigmentation. Their skin is translucent. You can see the blood show forth through their skin. That's why when he came out, Isaac, when Isaac seen him, he said, Aishawa or Aishashwa. He said, wasted away is he. That's what Esau means. Right? And then later his name became Esau's name was changed from Esau to Edom. Which goes back to the Hebrew Adawam. Adawam. Which means red. Everybody else on this earth got melanin. Everybody else on this earth, all the other nations that are brown skin. Alright? From a light shade to a dark shade. But this devil is just that just stands out. Because he's cursed. Okay? Cursed. Just like Cain was cursed. Right? Because Cain came back as Esau. And the Lord put that curse upon Esau's descendants, upon his children. Okay? It says, as the clay, as the clay is in the potter's hand to fashion it at his pleasure, so man is in the hand of him that made him to render them as liketh him best. The Lord can do whatever the hell he wants to do. And can't nobody say anything against it, man. Who can resist his will? Okay? He will have mercy upon whom he wants to have mercy. He gonna choose who he wanna choose. Can't nobody tell the Most High he can't have favorites. Can't nobody tell the Heavenly Father Yahweh. That he can't exalt one people above another. That's exactly what he's done. And can't nobody do nothing against that, man. Alright? I'm posted up, so let's get busy. Let's get busy in the precepts. Let's go from there to the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 6. 
Second Ezra chapter 6 and verse 54. It says, After these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. Everybody comes from Adam, right? But the Lord divided all the children of Adam. He divided all, he divided the Shemites, the, Ham, the, the Hamites, and the, um, um, the, the, the Japhites, man. All right? Going down to the to the nations that you can read about in Deuteronomy the tenth chapter. I mean, not Deuteronomy, uh, Genesis the tenth chapter. Okay, we were meant to be divided. Matter of fact, now I'm finna bink bink bow bow through the spirit. Combination precepts. Deuteronomy thirty two and eight it says when the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance when He separated the Lord is a separatist. The Lord is a racist. All right, to be a racist means to be for your race. Okay, to be for your people. The Lord is for his people. He's not for everybody. He don't, again, he don't give a damn about everybody else. He don't give a damn about these other nations. Right? When he separated the sons uh, in the book of Amos, the third chapter it says, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for your iniquity. Okay, the Israelites is the only people that the Lord is dealing with. These other nations are as pawns. They're they're. Let's read this in Isaiah. Isaiah chapter forty and verse seventeen. It says, "All nations before him are as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing and vanity. To whom so all, all these nations ain't shit." To Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. These other nations ain't but spit. Alright? And if you and if you can't find that, then you need to get an apocrypha. Those are the 14 books they tried to hide from us. <laughs> and in these last days, we know they lied to us. This Isaiah, if you know, you know. This Isaiah chapter 40 and verse. Uh, 17 it says all nations before him are as nothing and they are counted to him less than nothing in vanity to whom then will ye liken the most high or what likeness will ye compare unto him that's the point on that i meant to start up this is um isaiah 40 and 15 it says behold the nations are as a drop of a bucket and are counted as the small dust of the balance behold he taketh up the isles as a very little thing they're insignificant. Okay? And Lebanon is not sufficient to burn, nor the beast thereof sufficient for a burnt offering. All the nations before him are as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing in vanity. Plain and simple. Back in 2nd Ezra, I know I was reading something before this, but... I can't think about it. Anyways, this is back in second Ezra. Oh, that Deuteronomy. Let's finish on that. The Wadi Al This is Deuteronomy. Chapter six and verse eight. When the most high divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. For the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. Let's read in the NLT. It says, for the people of Israel belong to the Lord. Jacob is his special possession. Everybody else is insignificant. Second Ezra 6 and verse 55. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou hast made it the world for our sakes. The whole world is created for the nation of Israel. And to be more specific, the whole world is created for the righteous. It starts with the righteous of the nation of Israel. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 9 and verse 13. It says, And therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be saved and when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, whose the world is and for whom the world is created. Create The world has, like the world was literally formed. The Heavenly Father, the Heavenly Father Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, the name of his only begotten son Yahweh Shai, literally made this earth 
for his elect to rule. But as we go back into that second Ezra, it's the sixth chapter. Let's just do it. We have no possession in this world. We're not ruling this world. So that shows you that very, very soon there's going to be a change of rulership, a transfer of power. And the meek will inherit the earth. It says that the Lord set if down the thrones of proud princes and set if the meek in their stead. Second Ezra chapter 6 and verse 56. As for the other people which thou, which like, as for the other people which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing but be like unto spittle and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. And now, O Lord, behold these heathen which thou have ever been reputed as nothing have begun to be lords over us and to devour us. But we, thy people, whom thou hast called thy firstborn, thy only begotten, Thy fervent lover or your favorite are given into their hands. And if this world now be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long shall this endure? And it's not going to endure much longer. Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. We're seeing Esau fall. If Satan be divided against itself, how shall his kingdom stand? How can he continue? Right? So the nation of Israel is the chosen. Isaiah 45 and 4, for Jacob, my servant's sake, in Israel, mine elect, my chosen, I have called thee by name, by thy name, I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me. Israel is the elect. Israel is the chosen. But there's a chosen within the chosen. There's elect within the elect. All right. This is Romans 11 and 7. What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded. The election within Israel, the chosen within the chosen nation have obtained it, have obtained what? The unadulterated truth. Faith. This holy word. The rest of Israel have been blinded. This is the book of St. John. 17 and verse 6. I'll start at 5. And now, O Father, glorify me. And, and now, O Father, this is Yahweh Shai speaking. This is in the red letter. He's speaking to his, he's speaking to our Heavenly Father. All right, showing you they're two different entities. And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou, which thou gavest me out of the world. So, the men that the heavenly Father Yahweh has given to his only begotten son Yahweh Shai, has been given the name of the Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son. So, IUIC saying, we don't know what the name of the Lord is. You can call Him whatever you want. You can call Him your play, your girl, jalapeno pepper. That shows that they're not the sheep of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. It says, men of wisdom shall see thy name. In the book of Sirach, the 17th chapter, it says, the elect shall praise His holy name. So if you don't have His name, by default, that, that would make you not of the elect. That, that would make you not one of Yahweh Shai Hamashiachs. Talking about some fucking Jesus, man. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou hast given me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. And now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. 
for I have given them, for I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me. 100% truth. And they have received them. And, ha and have known surely that I come out, out from thee. And they have believed that thou didst send me. Right. I came out from thee and they have believed that thou didst send me. Salaki, I thought I skipped the word. I pray for them. I pray not for the world. Now, when you go into this word, world, it's the Greek word cosmos. He's talking about he's not praying for the rest of Israel. I pray for them, the ones that have been given to me by the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, the ones who I manifested thy name and has given thy word. That's who I am praying for. I'm not praying for the rest of the nation of Israel. That's what Yahweh Shai is saying. Saying. I pray for them, I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine, and all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world, and I am come to thee, Holy Father. Keep through thine own name those who thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are one. Meaning what? One mind, one body, one spirit. Not one being, not one entity. The Israelite group's teaching that. Bug outs. Let me get to the point. Verse 14. I have given them thy word, and the world hath hated them, because they are not of the world even as I am not of the world. They are not of the... That's the elect. All Israel. That's the world that we're talking about. Have not obtained that which he seeketh for. But the election. The ones that belong to Yahweh Shai. Given to him by the Heavenly Father Yahweh. Have obtained it. Have obtained what? The word, let's read it again. St. John 17 and 14. I have given them thy word. Ain't no lies in that word. And the world hath hated them. The rest of Israel have hated them. Because they are not of the world. They've been chosen out. They've been chosen out. Of the world. They've been picked. That's what elected means. To be hand picked. Hand selected. From amongst the nation of Israel. Because they are not of the world. Even as I am not of the world. Con. I was just skimming through the rest of the chapter. Because... Right. This is uh, St. John 15 and 19. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. So we're going into these precepts showing you that there is an elect amongst the elect. Okay. A chosen few. Roll these windows down. A chosen few out of the chosen nation. This is the book of Isaiah 10 and 22. For though thy people Israel be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant of them shall return. The consumption decree shall overflow with righteousness. A remnant. Shall return. All Israel's not returning. All Israel's not going to hear the Lord's voice. Only his sheep. Only his elect. His chosen. The remnant. Little sanctuary. Those are the most high's favorites. Yahweh. Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai's favorites. Um, Galatians 6, fuck you. I tried to type it in, they then gave me 600 verses, so I'm gonna just go straight to it. It's the book of Galatians chapter 6 and verse 16, it says, 
It says, and as many as walk according to this rule, peace be on them and mercy and upon the Israel of the heavenly father, Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Okay, it says upon the Israel of God. All right, that's talking about the elect, the election. It said my sheep hear my voice and they follow me. In Revelations, it says that the 144,000. The best of the best, the creme de la creme. Revelations chapter 14 and verse 1. And I looked and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion and with him in 144,000 men. Right. Just to add. It says that the tabernacle of the Most High is with men. Revelation 21. Having his father's name written in their forehead. Now, when you read it in the Greek, which is what the New Testament was translated out of, it is it will say having his name, the name of the lamb. Right. Yahweh Shai and his father's name, Yahweh, written in their forehead. The name of the father, Yahweh, and the name of the uh, father, Yahweh, uh, in the name of the son, Yahweh Shai, written within us. Lord willing, we be of that number. I mean, we the only one standing boldly and stiffly for them names. These other niggas talking about Christ. Half the time, these niggas talking about some fucking Christ. If you accept, Hassad said, if, well, yeah, you can be saved if you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. What? Sidekick this nigga in his ear. It says, and I heard a voice from heaven. That's a joke. A spiritual man. <laughs> Revelations 14 and 2. Uh, that's the point. That's a, that's the, actually, we'll read on. It says, and I heard a voice from heaven as the voice of many waters and as the voice of a great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps and... They sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders. And no man could learn that song. But the hundred and forty and four thousand which were redeemed for, from the earth. No man could learn that song. It says, um, we just read it in our Romans. All Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it. Israel can't learn. All of Israel can't learn this song. All of Israel can't learn this truth. Only the election. Starting with the 144,000 and the rest of the believers, if we went back to that, St. John 17, the 20th verse, it says, uh, save them and um, St. John 17 and verse 20, it says, neither pray I for these alone, but for them also, which shall believe on me through their word. Okay, the ones that's dancing to the tune, the one that's dancing to that song. All right. So we just identified who the chosen nation is. Out of all the nations of the earth, the Lord's favorite is the Israelites. And even amongst the Israelites, the Lord has his favorites, his chosen, his elect. And his favorites don't have it easy. This is the book of Proverbs. Chapter 13. This is not what I wanted, but I'm going to read it. Proverbs 13 and 24. He that spareth his rod hateth his son, but he that loveth him chastiseth him, chasteneth him betimes. Salakia. Okay, so... The Lord's, you know, his elect sons, you know, the first fruits, catch a lot of hell. Get chastised often. Hebrews 12 and 6, it says, For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. And if we continue to read in this chapter, it says, If you be without chastisement, you're a bastard. Meaning you're really not one of his favorites. Revelations 3 and 19, it says, As many as I love, I rebuke. And chastise, be, be zealous thereof, and repent. So we're going to catch hell. And we're going through chastisement. It's all to make us better. When you whoop your son, it's not to, you know, break him down. But it's really to teach him a lesson. To build him up. As it says in, the, in that same chapter of Hebrews, the 12th chapter, it says, For the chastisement of this present time is not joyous, but grievous, but afterward a yield of the peaceable fruit. Of righteousness. Okay. We quoted that Amos earlier. You only. Have I known out of all the. Families of the earth. 
And therefore, I will punish you for your iniquity. So taking it a level, level deeper, the Lord is dealing with his elect. The ones that he's given his word, he's dealing with us. I don't want my desire to be at that number. On a different level than he's dealing with the rest of Israel. So our hell be intensified. It says in the book of Corinthians that we are chastised. Uh, now, let me just read it. First Corinthians 11 and 32. But when ye are judged, when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord that we should not be condemned with the world. So we catch so much hell. You know, the Lord, the Lord's the, the hopeful elect catch so much hell. The Lord's favorites, right? Catch so much hell. And it's it's all for our embitterment, man. It's also that we don't get judged with this world. Because the rest of Israel outside of the elect is going to get judged with this world. It's going to get judged with the uncircumcised. But the Lord's chosen. He said, come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins. He's going to he's going to deliver his elect from the four corners of the earth so that they don't have to feel that nuclear fire. OK. So that's pretty much it, man. You know, Lord willing, that was edifying, uplifting, and exhorting. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechach, Wadash. Yahweh is the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of the Heavenly Father. And Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of the only begotten Son, our Lord and our Savior, Rechach, Wadash, is the Holy Spirit that speaks to us and allows us to rightly divide the word of truth and teach the word correctly and directly. And the elders of Israel being the apostles and the elders of great millstone that rule well. Shalom wa which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Shalom brothers keep on pushing say sober stay diligent stay focused stay alert stay alive stay alert 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 stay